Hello, this is Travis Saban with Adobe Analytics Product Management. And in this video, we're going to be walking through finding and creating segments. So one of the most powerful features within Adobe Analytics is our segmentation capabilities. Now, when you first logged into Adobe Analytics, you probably had some default segments provided for you. Here you can see some of these with the Adobe logo. We have some out of the box provided, and you probably had some company provided ones that have been shared with you as well. But maybe you want to create your own segment, and you've never really done that before. So let's quickly walk through our segment builder. So in the segment builder, uh, there's just a couple of things that you need to do. One, it has to have a title or a name. So let's call this the test segment. And you can provide a description in case you want to help characterize what the segment will be about. You can tag it if you want to group it with other common segments or if this has a specific type of data that you typically use it with. Um, but the only two required things are a title and a definition. And then over here, we've got these kind of concentric circles that outline about how much data you're looking at within that segment. So right now this has 100% of my data because I haven't done anything. But let's say I am interested in, let's do regions. I simply drag and drop this specific dimension on here. And let's do the United States. Actually, let's do California in the United States. After I select that value, you can see this updates to show where, how many users fit that criteria. And it looks like the bulk of my users, almost 94, 95% come out of California specifically for this data set. So, and if that's all I'm interested in is California users, then I click save and I'm off and running. There's some other nuances here. You can change some more complex options within the table, including how your data is captured if you're building your segment based off of a hit or an entire visit, a group of hits or a visitor, a group of visits. Hit is the most basic level um, that you can create your segment from, but we'll keep it simple today. You could also do a metric, multiple metrics, multiple dimensions, a combination of dimensions and metrics. You can build really, really complex segments really fast uh, here in our segment builder. And then you just come up and save it. And once you save it, it'll show up here in your segment list. And then you can take your segment and you can drag and drop it onto the table to adjust. Let's say I was going to use my mobile one over here to update my data. I can drag it over here and put it on. Or I can drop any component up top and this will automatically turn it into an on the fly segment. So let's say I'm interested in the home page. If I drag that here, it will filter my data to only show people who have visited the home page from these countries. So that's just some on the fly segmentation that I can do to filter my data. Now that's adjusting data that you've already got built, but sometimes while you're doing your analysis, you might find specific things that are interesting to you. So let's say you're in the cohort table and you find a specific segment that's performing really well. In this case, my December cohort is outperforming all my other cohorts here. So in the cohort tool, you can right click on a specific cell and create a segment from that cell. And when you do that, the underlying definition of that data that that user had to met, in this case, a visitor is already populated here in the segment builder, it gives it a really generic kind of robot type name. So you can rename it to something more user friendly, save it and you're off and running. So uh, finding segments throughout your analysis, creating them, saving them, and then digging deeper using other tools is another really common use case and, th and something that we've just built into the tool uh, from scratch. So that's from the cohort table. But if you're in the fallout tool, you can do something similar. So if you find a set of users who are performing really well, or maybe they're not performing so well, if they're falling out or if they're staying, you can right click again, create a segment from that touch point, and it'll automatically build a, se a segment here in the segment builder with that definition of somebody of a visitor who visits the home page and did that during a visit. So you just give it a title, save it. And again, you're off and running if you want to analyze some more attributes about this specific visitor set who has met that criteria. So again, on the fly segmentation, really simple. One last use case for finding and creating on the fly segments is with our flow tool. So if you've been tracking where users are going after they enter, which pages they're going to, and you want to know, you know, somebody who's down here at our category five page after having done all these other steps, or maybe you're interested in those who come back to the home, or maybe it's something down here in the junk drawer, whatever it is, um, you can right click on a specific node within the flow, and you can create a segment for this path. And again, this will pop up the segment builder. It will give you all of the complex definition that we do under the hood 
out of the gate, really simple. And then all you need to do is give it a name, save it, and you're off and running. So those are some common on the fly segmentation use cases. But again, one of the key offerings that Adobe Analytics can do and provide for you is that segmenting capability really, really advanced. Um, so either creating from scratch or from the analysis that you've already done and building on the fly segments, Adobe Analytics can provide a lot of value there. So hopefully this is giving you some tips and tricks into how to do that. And thank you for your time.